My name is Devor. This is Famous Birthdays. Uh, this is four years later because the last video I did was four years ago. It's me saying four years later. And now I'm back to answer even more questions and it's gonna be even more awesome this time. And let's get into the video. When did you first go viral? Mm, I didn't go viral. I had like 200 followers on Musical.ly. Uh, and then I started Bizarre Vark, and then from there, like I did grow followers across like all social media platforms. But I think I only ever stuck with Musically, and then whenever it like got bought out by TikTok and it transitioned into TikTok, I like started doing it more seriously because I saw like okay, I could really do this as a job. Like I could do this to support myself because um, that's when we saw like social media really become like a an opportunity for like branding and promotional deals and stuff. So yeah, when I started like taking it more seriously and putting out more serious content, I think everything started doing better like overall in general. So it was just kind of like a gradual acceleration, but I never went like viral. Who were the first creators you followed on social media? The first creators I followed on social media were all beauty gurus. They were on YouTube because that was like the most prevalent social media app with like me and my friends at the time. It was Meg DeAngelis, Makeup by Manny24, she taught me how to do my eyeliner. Um, my Life is Ava, RCL Beauty. I just like lived through them. I thought they were so cool. And when some of them actually guest starred on Bizarre Vark, but they were just super, super nice. Like every single one that I met and it was like not only like a childhood dream come true, but it's always nice when you meet celebrities and they're actually nice because they're not always nice. So yeah, super good experience to have it all come full circle. What do you find most challenging about social media in today's world? Hmm. Okay, so what I find most challenging about social media in like my personal life, as well as today's world, just because I've talked with friends who also do social media and like we all have shared experiences with this, just how like it becomes uh, this weird detachment from like your self perception um, because most of like your financial success is based off of like likes, engagement, you know, like that type of stuff. Like, you know, how many people are really like liking you and your social media and engaging with it. So I think just kind of being able to like not let that totally screw my brain up has been really difficult. Um, and like I said, I have friends who we just talked about like this being a shared experience between a lot of like influencers. I don't like to call myself an influencer, that's embarrassing. Digital content creators. It is a shared experience between content creators. What advice would you give your past self? Um, so I would tell my past self just to like acknowledge that there's no difference between men and women. And I, just because I was presenting as a woman, didn't need to like take up less space or be more quiet or sit on my hands or bite my tongue. And that I could just go back and like scream in my ear and tell myself like if I really want stuff to happen in my career, like I have to make it happen. I cannot rely on connections or I mean, just really anybody else to make it happen for me. You can always use connections, but I definitely think like, I wish I would have just told myself to straight directly like interjected myself into these situations and had them come to pass and like um, just manifest into like my direct life and I didn't do that because I was being too like meek and quiet about it and I needed to be more bold and strong with what I was doing. So, all honesty. <laughs> Who is one celebrity you'd like to collaborate with or spend the day with? Mm, one celebrity that I've always wanted to collaborate and spend the day with is Jennifer Lawrence. We are gonna work together. I mean, like you're hearing it right now. It's, hap it's gonna happen, there's no doubt in my mind. That probably sounds cocky, but it's me just, you know, power of assumption. Um, she carries herself so well. She's such a cute freaking pregnant person. I love that she's a mom now. I'm like so extremely happy for her, but I think her acting choices is what like initially drew me to her because she's so unpredictable. And I think that's why like a lot of her films, I think made me want to become an actor. And so she'll always be that like idol for me. But we like grew up an hour away from each other in Kentucky. And I know her mom has a really thick Southern accent like my mom. And I just feel like if we met, we would be best friends. And I'm gonna reiterate that and say, when we meet, we're gonna be best friends because it's gonna happen. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? I wanna fly. Cause I can fly in my dreams. And my, I, my dreams are really vivid. And I've mastered like takeoff, landing, steering, all that stuff. I've always flown my dreams literally as long as I can remember. And I think if it's that fun in my dreams, it would probably be that fun in real life. <laughs> what is something most people who follow you don't know about you? So 
like some people know this about me, I feel like, because you can like look my name up and like my full name will come up, but maybe like some people aren't aware and I'll share it. It's that my full name is Catherine Devore Ledridge. So like Devore is my middle name, but it's, I go by Devore, like nobody's ever called me Catherine. Like if you do, I literally will not respond to you. Like I'll be like, huh, what? Cause I, it just it, like, that doesn't make me I don't acknowledge that like someone's calling my name because it's not my name. And my parents did the same thing with my brother. So his name is James Harrison Ledridge, but he's always gone by Harrison. I don't know. I guess my parents are like super quirky, whatever. <laughs> what are your favorite movies of all time? So my favorite movies of all time continue to fluctuate because I don't ever have favorites of anything. Um, I really love the Star Wars series. Um, my girlfriend just introduced me to that and it's freaking awesome. Uh, I'm like a huge sci-fi nerd, but I just watched this movie called Fresh. I thought it was gonna be a romance movie. It turns out it's about cannibalism. You can imagine my shock in the theater. I was really surprised it, as well as this other movie called Three Months, who Troy Sivan stars in, are both shot beautifully, written beautifully. Just the whole like production itself is amazing. And yeah, it's gonna continue to fluctuate. I will have no favorites, but those are my favorites at the moment. Was there ever a time you wanted to completely quit social media? Yes, I wanna quit social media all the time, but I have to recognize like the privilege that I have to be able to set my own schedule and not have like a nine to five job. Um, the flexibility, especially like combining with my mental health issues and like different things like health issues that I've been like battling for forever now, I think I would be in a much worse position if I didn't have this opportunity to support myself through social media and have such a flexible schedule. And as much as I hate it and have so many negative things to say about it and there are negative components of it, at the same time, it's a really, like I said, privileged opportunity. And um, I always just like wanna recognize that and appreciate it and like just like give all my thanks to the universe. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Um, so I can't, again, pick one meal because that just doesn't work in my brain. Two meals that I would combine and lie and say is one meal because it's just like part of a meal. It's not a food, it's a meal. Um, would be egg rolls and uh, vegetable korma with basmati rice and a mango lassi. If I can pick a drink, that would be my top tier favorite. Do you have any hidden talents? I do have a hidden talent. Um, uh, I can burp on command, like a lot, so. But I don't know if that's a hidden talent because I feel like I use it in like every instance. When was the time in your life you felt like you were at a crossroads and how did you decide what to do? Um, so I was definitely at a crossroads when I was deciding to like either stay in Kentucky and continue on with like the traditional path of like going and finishing uh, middle school and going into high school or moving out to LA and signing with the management company because most management companies want you to like move to LA and live in LA and I still wanted to like do all the traditional high school experiences like cheerleading and prom and homecoming and all that stuff. And while that's like so great for some people and I know some people really thrive there, I just wasn't thriving in school because I was like just like um, super antisocial and like eating lunch in the bathroom every day. So I feel like there was, it was not serving me any purpose. And I think although I wanted those experiences, I understood and was able to like gain discernment and clarity in this situation and know in my heart that like moving out to LA and like having a different like cultural experience and like just being around adults and working in this industry would probably serve me more than just finishing out four years of high school would. And like, I, it completely served me well. And now I live here and I've lived here for like eight years. So very happy with my decision. Do you have any upcoming projects? Hmm, maybe, maybe just like two, maybe two, but actually, yes. Um, so I do, it's just awkward to talk about them, I feel like, but I need to like, no, I need to be more assertive, okay. So see, this is what I'm talking about. I still, I still struggle with it now. I have two projects coming up. It's really exciting, so you should be excited. Uh, one of them is I'm starting a podcast. It's a really cool name. I think it's cool. You're probably not gonna think it's cool, but it's called Devore Unscripted. I think it's funny because I'm an actor, but I don't know if you get the play on word. Take it, leave it, whatever. Uh, but the podcast is just gonna be, um, I mean, me and a bunch of creators just talking about how whack LA is. Like, in all honesty, I could give you like a full 
rundown, but you know, LA is so different from the inside and you know, compared to the perception of how it is from the outside. And I think like, it's just a very interesting topic to talk about. Um, and obviously there's things that I am also gonna be doing on the podcast. I'm not sure if I can say it on here. So when you hear the news about the podcast, you will get the full rundown and then also, we are starting my YouTube channel up again because that has been down forever, years actually it has been. Um, so yeah, think of like really funny male like commentary comedy YouTube channel and then me and then put it together, but take the male part out and put the non-binary person in and then like that's what the YouTube channel is gonna be and it's gonna be so awesome, it's gonna be, just like um, I've dug, dug deep, deep, really deep, found some really raunchy, crazy uh, shows from mm, like 90s, like 2000s era. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. And um, we're just gonna be going over it, just analyzing it, dissecting it for what it is. And um, yeah, if you want to have some serotonin, share a laugh with me, you can come check that out. If you follow me on my social medias, you'll know when it's all dropping and going live. Um, so yeah, you can follow me on my social media if you want. My social media is just my name, it's Devorah Ledridge. Um, if you don't know how to spell that because it's really awkward to spell, you can always look my name up. And then my TikTok, no longer Musical.ly, um, is Devorah LOL because when we had Musical.ly, we would all have like weird little names like that and I just haven't changed mine and I need to get to it. But yeah, thank you so much for like sitting through this video and watching me answer like super random questions. That was fun. Um, I appreciate everyone's love and support. I will leave you with all of my good energy and I hope you're having a wonderful day. If not, I don't know, like go take a walk, like drink some water, I don't, like, I don't know, watch Star Wars, do something for yourself. And I hope you have a wonderful day and 